What's going on, folks? Um, <clears throat> so James Harden uh, was able to find a way to get traded again off of the 76ers after Doc Rivers is fired, and now he's commentating. Um, Doc Rivers took Mark Jackson's spot and Jeff Van Gundy's spot. Um, so, yeah. So James Harden didn't like Doc Rivers, thought he was the issue. After you got Doc Rivers, Doc Rivers out, um, now you want to go to the Clippers. Now, look at this. He played at OKC, right? Moves to Houston. Puts up some phenomenal numbers while he's at Houston, right? Ends up finding a way to get out of Houston and goes to Brooklyn, right? Finds a way to get out of Brooklyn and goes to Philly. And finds a way to uh, get out of Philly and goes to um, Clippers. Now, looking at his current game, looking at his current game right now, from a shooting guard perspective, um, he is not the James Harden of old. Now, he did have um, a great season as a point guard, I would say facilitator, uh, when he was with uh, Philly, right? I'll give him that. But as far as him being extremely passive, um, just the league switching the rules. So now, you know, you think about it, 10 of his points used to come from getting to the free throw line. Now that they're um, calling that an offensive, uh, offensive foul now, remember that move he would do, uh, you know, the pivot, the step out, right? three causing the defender to run into him um, and he would get the contact well he no longer gets that call anymore so you're taking it probably a little bit about 10 points off of his average so and you think about it he's still making my like, average about 27 points a game now with those free throws I mean that's the reason why he was able to average 30 32 points a game he also used to take a ton of three-point shots, um, and he doesn't really take as many as as he has in the past. I noticed that he he tried to kind of like try to mirror KD's game because KD he doesn't take a lot of shots in order to get the uh, the amount of the the amount of points that he scores. It's always off um, not a lot of shots. So Harden wanted to become a little bit more efficient, and and but he to me. Um, was a little bit too passive when he was with Philly, right? He showed spurts of, you know, I'm that guy putting up the 40-point game, uh, you know. But I honestly look at him going to the Clippers, and I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work, right? You got someone by the – so somebody's going somebody's gonna to come off the bench, right? Someone's going to come off the bench, and when you look at it from a standpoint of you got Westbrook. Westbrook is a ball dominant guard, and there is no way you're gonna put both of those guys on the court at the same time. Um, so somebody's gonna come off the bench, and I don't think it's gonna be Harden. So Westbrook's gonna have to come off the bench. Harden at the point, um, Kawhi at the two, and then George at the three, or you can switch that around. Um, or what they possibly can possibly do is put Kawhi at the forward position or um, the power forward position or Paul George at the power forward position and start Westbrook at the point, put Harden at the two, um, Leonard Kawhi at the small forward, um, and then put George at the power forward and then get a center. I mean, you can play that lineup. I just, to me, I don't, I don't know how much ball movement you're going to have with so many folks needing the ball. Um, this team, like I said on paper, they got all about four two twenty point scores on you know, their team. I just don't know if they are a cohesive bunch to be able to take down uh, the other teams in the West that are more cohesive. It's not people have to understand. It's not just about having star players, but it's about being cohesive. Like every year, people wait for the Suns to put it all together. They gotta play with each other for a few years to jail. The same thing with Brooklyn. Even though I thought Brooklyn would have um, won the championship if um, you know KD's foot is not on the line, or if Giannis didn't injure Irvin uh, in that playoff series, they would have went all the way. 
but you gotta be cohesive. So Harden, I mean, Harden has to look at look himself in the in the mirror and say to himself, everywhere he went, he says the organization was the problem, right? So now that you have been traded multiple times, you know the next trade. Um, I have a friend saying this on my page, Eric. Um, give him the credit for that. He, he gonna be out the league. He's going to be out the league um, if he demands one more trade. Somebody's going to release him, and he might have to end up playing overseas. So, um, honestly, that drive that Harden used to have, he doesn't have it anymore. Um, that's something I didn't understand. Like, you can't teach hunger. Once you have uh, gotten all the money you're looking for, um, you know, reached the level, got the got the awards, um, I don't see much that comes out of that. So, I don't know, like James Harden going to that team, I don't think it makes sense to me. Um, it just don't make sense because Harden on the same team as the Westbrook, that worked back in the day, but they don't work right now. And then you got Kawhi. So if anything, I'm thinking they're making this move because we don't know if Paul George injury-wise is going to make it through the season and Kawhi is going to make it through the season, right? We don't know how many games they're going to take off. So that might just be a security blanket uh, or safety net that they throw in the mix in order to prepare for the come, upcoming season and the playoffs. So let me know what you think. You think it's a good trade? Um, and then you think Harden is just going to be out the league soon? Please.